Today's video is sponsored by Opera GX, a web browser designed for map gamers. Are you lagging too much because you have too many tabs open? Use the browser's GX control feature to limit the RAM and CPU usage of the browser, letting you keep those tabs open without lagging behind. And while browsing, you can access all your social media tabs anytime, allowing you to quickly respond to messages while watching your favorite videos. And when you're ready to leave the house and touch grass, you can simply switch to the Opera GX mobile app. Opera GX is free to download and you can get it now with the link in the description. I can't believe the Sultan would go against his own vassal. How could he? Dude, what, what do you mean by that? Which vassal? The Wali of Egypt. I am your governor. Uh, Real out of as character well LARP, I'm Black. pretty sure Muhammad Ali didn't consider himself a vassal after 1831. <laughs> yeah, no? Not, not... Quite true. Internationally, you are my suzerain, and I still pay tribute to you, technically. Alright, you want to give me all your money at the start of the game? Yeah, no, just it's just the form of two fanboy oh, socks yeah. a year. That's it. Are they Said it if you're are you Gamer Girl Bathwater. Yeah, yeah. We also sent you some Gamer Girl Bathwater straight from Alexandria. They, yeah. Do you have any videos of black guys bouncing their oily ass, though? Exactly. That's, yeah, we need the, that, the that's what the people thing. want. Somebody real... start an RP <laughs> that like the the king of Sardinia Piedmont is very much <laughs> into black people. Yo, is <laughs> that is that? Can that be my LARP? Can I be really into fucking into that shit? Because I'm king of Sardinia. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Canonically, actually, that'll be why you're a. Uh, I have a sudden urge to support the two uh, Sicilies to form families. Italy. Yeah. Told you guys, as the demon worship on Sardinia. I told you. Yeah, um, right. The Serbia thing is a bit of an issue because Russia is very adamant about um, protecting Serbia. I mean, we uh, if he's going to protect them, he's going to protect them like now and later and then and then. We might as well just deal with it while we have the strength to deal with it. Because cause my brigade cap starts very strong and your brigade cap starts strong and he's not at his brigade cap, so we could deal with it. Um... Because right. think, think about it, if we we can just conquer down like the four provinces of Serbia, piece it out, and if he wants to liberate it, he has to march all the way over there, and he'll be taking so much attrition, we could just kill him with our superior army. That's what I was I getting mean... at earlier. Oh, fair, fair. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just, you know, the concept of Europe, man, you know, the whole point is that we're supposed to maintain the peace and prevent big huge wars you know it's well we are maintaining the peace the russians are trying to um the, the the russian delegation made sure they were telling me they support all greek claims in the balkans that's not really maintaining peace and order this is a preemptive strike you know what you are not wrong fair enough is anyone the Serbs? Russia is messing up. Austria, Austria, Austria. What's going on? Austria. The Serb. It's World War One. It's World War One right now. What? Mobilizing because we We've come here to stop this Russian mobilization and aggression. Uh, the Tsar. The Tsar requests to know Start, what uh, mobilizing. the Sultan intentions are. The Sultan, in a bit these... of goodwill, is allowing the Austrians to take their title of Prince of Serbia, as it is a rightful Ottoman title to grant. Look, all I'm saying is, like, whatever, like, Serbia is just in a far too precarious situation that could fire off a powder keg in Europe. I, you know. There are far better ways of going about this if you are if you have issues. Hey, look, we're a Christian empire. The Ser Serbians might be a different kind of Christians, but they will be under better rulership and protection under the Austrian crown, just as many of our sub other subjects are. And this should not uh, resort to conflict, really. Well said. Chud. What? Uh, so, are you, are you still... It's over? It's over? It's over. What do you mean? Uh, well, I'm Serbia. Like, I, are you supporting me? I know. I don't know what... I don't know. I can't. Fucking... Crush your hair. Goddamn yo-yo. Look, man. Russia. Austria is attacking our Christian allies. 
and he's working I am, with I am bringing he's, about he's working the with the Islamic menace. I am bringing about the protection of the Serbian people against future... The Serbian... Uh, those, the Russians, the Russians one, tell but... me the Christians in my empire are oppressed. I transfer an autonomous no, no region to a fully Christian empire. And he seeks to stop that? Only under threat of force. I wish to, to request for Russian support. Like, we, we are all Slavic people. We should unite against the Ottomans oh and Austrian goodness. menace. There is no need to be afraid. Your people will be under the nice protective care of the Austrian crown, and you will I be. Request assistance and you will not from fall victim to the subjugation the of the of Russian, in the future. Russian I, don't want, I don't think the uh, Serbian people will be treated with equal rights in the Austrian Empire. I assure you, you will. It, it'll be fine. Look, we've, we are an empire with, of many different cultures and peoples, you know? I shall kill, your, I shall kill your, your heir in the <laughs> 1900s. I am sure that will never occur, <coughs> and peace will prevail. I'm sure they'll be so happy they won't want to do that. Yeah, exactly. The Tsar response to Austrian aggression is cringe. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote a strongly worded letter. <laughs> Rip yep, uh, Bozo. Uh, can I... Maybe seek independence in the next decade. We shall grant you independence once you prove loyalty to a fight against one of the separatist causes against us. Of course. If that happens After, in two days or uh, two years. The star requests that the Austrian Emperor goes down to uh, ERP channel. I have to question Egypt's lapping here. He, he's called Muhammad Ali, but I, I think he was still called Cassius Clay at this point. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Alright, ban this guy, ban this guy. <coughs> I'm sending you my finest armies to you. fight in your war. You better start believing in pop-ups. Thank you, but I do not know if they shall reach Tripoli. I hope they will, but my... This. Let's get a vision yeah. lines. Let's see how well you're beating Afghanistan here. Because I'm fucking. Oh. Are you not beating oh. Afghanistan, there, Persia? There he's Persia. Look at he's fucking. Oh, he's look at teams, uh... teams, bro. What do you expect? The USA condemns <laughs> this loss by Persia as embarrassing <laughs> against the, 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 the Spanish. The Russian, the, the Russian Tsar comments a lot now. Plus, you can't. I'm For real. Sick. Anyways. <laughs> oh my God. I God. hate artillery. I don't even. You know what? I don't even want artillery, man. Real men fight with fists. Soldier. Sure. And small just arms. Just start stone something. Yeah, can't fucking Real. deal with this. Uh, also, uh, can we annex Afghanistan, uh, Persia into Afghanistan? Listen, just I'm we can lock the. Me. Uh... I'm way too fucking sick for this, man. You can't be serious. I'm not even getting wool. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, these people man? denounce you being sick for this. Okay, thank you. I'm not. I'm not just sick of this. I'm sick. Real fucking sick. <laughs> My Sultan, I have been yeah. faithful throughout the war. I have sent troops yeah. and I have sent money. I have shed blood and I have given iron. My brother-in-law. Oh, I did not see any troops <laughs> inside of inside of troops. Even I have given all of my money to you, dude. What the uh, fuck? Can I... has more artillery than I do. <laughs> We can we call the Mexicans pussies for this. They didn't even go in. They didn't follow can through. Can I uh, please be given the status of a principality? You already are a principality of Montenegro. No, I mean a free principality. My brother in Christ, you didn't do anything. I <laughs> oh, you don't want to like play Persia? Nine roll. Thank, good job, God. I, I, uh, 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 I want to go, guys. Oh, do we mind. have player dice so AI on the bingo card that needs to be added before he dies? Can't you just white piece uh, Afghanistan? No, well, he's losing to him. Accept it. At this uh, point, they, they've probably added war goals on him. They no, they uh, they're going to. Because Greece is bored. Um. Wow, so it's highly is recommended that issue. you, in fact, do not do that. Wait, can I can I'll save smoke? Uh, anyway, okay, well, another one. Oh, wait, who's that? 
Greece. That was the Greece. <laughs> Olympian <laughs> recommended to me that I roster that guy. And this man? Why did you recommend him? He's a... Limp. He left in less than two years. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, he never. He, he didn't even yeah, do anything. He even had allies. Dude. It's not like he was fucking from the fucking game. When How did he, he didn't lose any land. He never went to war. He just lost. You mentally dominated him so hard, Weevil, that he just left again. Weevil, um, I would like to commend your ability to make two of your neighbors just <laughs> great for the game. Well, I'm getting a new um. Greece, because Marksman found one, but... You should also get a push. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, Argentina, can you uh, assist us in the final battle against the <laughs> Bolivians? Oh yes, my god, I push out! <laughs> push out's fucking uh, brigade cap is one! Zero! <laughs> it's one! <laughs> How do you know his brigade cap? Because uh, cause I'm in the safe, because Weevil told me to. Dude, look at the Civ progress difference between Afghanistan and Persia. Dude, I, I literally, like, don't know how people lose to AI. Do people, like, not do at least, like, one test game to see if they could beat the AI? Uh, I do. Uh, I do, I yeah. Do. I actually, uh, I can I go, can I go Afghanistan? Bruh. He's, he's got to switch it. I don't they know why you want to go to Afghanistan. Uh, 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 Persia, like, even, like, even if you lose, like, don't have soldier pops, you still have, like, more accepted pop than Afghanistan. You actually accept Afghanistan's cultures, and you have way more civ progress. Oh, god, they got a the nine year old. That I don't have any fucking goods. There's zero He's goods. You ask someone for a spear, though. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, it's like the first year of the game. Nobody has goods. What did you expect? That's, good. That's, good. That's, good. That's why you build irregulars in cavalry. This is so actually you have good suppliers. Um, like, you have, you have, uh, yeah, you have wool. The, oh, fuck. the regulars I'm only gonna... have only need wool. You would have supplied. I'm able to make two brigades. That's fucking it. I'm done. You can encourage okay. soldiers to replenish your soldier pops. Uh, oh, see, 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 guys, here's the question: On the next rehost, we do we put a pity dual box on to annex it to him? No, no. no. He wants to learn his lesson. He, 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 yeah, you need to learn. But yeah, the Russians and like Egyptians, I've seen their transports like move around the um, Eastern Mediterranean. Yeah, they're definitely working towards something. They're also working with the Prussians. They're working with the Prussians and the Austrians, I assume. Not with the Austrians, with the Prussians. Because I remember when we were trying to annex Serbia, the Prussians were looking to join against them, but it ended up not for some reason coming to that. But no, the Austrians are like I don't I don't know what the Austrians are up to. They're just doing their Italy game right now, and I don't want to get them involved because I think the Prussians are stronger and they'll probably crush the Austrians, especially because they have the Scandinavians in their monarchy. Yeah. But I feel with our terrain advantage, if we get a good amount of British units here, we can sem off the invasion of the Russians. I mean, do you think I'm wrong here? I mean, I don't think you're wrong, but like, uh, have you looked at the sphere map mode? I mean, who cares about what Egypt does after the canal? He's going to give you the canal no matter what. I don't see any situation where he's going to try to deny you of it. But you got to look at it as it's Russia basically just getting like four, um, getting two new big puppet states and himself some territory when you instead could have your own ally down there. Because even if you think, like, he's in your sphere now, will he always be in your sphere? You don't know that. That's a fair point. It's better to keep people fighting and questioning than to just let people win. I'll consider it. Well, this is the time to consider it. The time to consider was over time. Now we're at the time. I see you got troops down in, um, or up in, uh, Plymouth area. That's those troops that could be used now. Because I think what we can do is we can do a pretty mobile thing. Because what they expect us to do is to put units either on the Greece border, the Egyptian border, wherever they have their units. And for them to have a battle there where they can win. But if we instead pull back and start sniping people, we're going to win. And I'm also able to get artillery now, so I'm actually building four brigades. So Marksman, they're funding their army. They're going to come in soon. I, I, need you, I need your decision now. Hold on. I'm gonna try to talk Chad out of this. 
Start sending stuff over because they'll look more like you're willing to do something. It'll give you more strength. Uh, the French delegation says hello to the Ottomans. Hello. What I'm requesting to the French delegation, in addition to the um, idea of the protector of Christians in our empire, is the idea that the, o that the Ottomans works together with the Austrians and the French to fight together against the new dual monarchy of Prussia and the Russian ally. Who seem I've, to encroach upon us. I've informed Austria of the potential alliance between the dual monarchy and Russia. Uh, he seems to be a little bit concerned himself, but I don't think he wants to accelerate the process of how would you put it, escalation that would that would you know entail by an alliance between us three. My friend, we, this alliance is already a thing. I went to speak to the Prussian delegation about their potential rec reclamation of the Duchy of Finland, and he told me that he seeks. That he seeks himself an ally of Russia at this very moment. Really? That is what I've he been told, told me. something else. I've been told something else by the Prussians that an alliance is not currently formally organized, but maybe in the future. So. so this sound like very much the same thing. Yeah. Uh, perhaps a conference between me and you and Austria should occur at some point too. Uh... At some point, the Russians are, are funding their army and sending more units down to the Balkans as we speak. The time is now. Then get everything together and we'll talk about it. Let's get them we over. Wanna... Or I guess they're up there. With, he's up there with Pierre, Austria, so I mean. Do we go up there? Is that rude? We come here in a time of Russian aggression in the east. We see his army is funded. More convoys are moving through and from the Dardanelles as we try to close them every day. We worried in the time that not only are the Russians aiming to attack peaceful people in their homes, but that Prussians are supporting them. Is this true, Prussia? Prussia would like to... Uh... When asked, you told us you were looking for an alliance with the Russians. We are seeking closer ties, yes, that's true. The Russians have just moved to our border. And yet, Prussian troops remain in their own. Sir, when I mean this, I don't mean exactly that the Prussians would always invade the Balkans if need be. But if somebody were to help against somebody who were invading the Balkans, you would deny them that. You would fight against them. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, what That's what the is way. the British stance on this? I... This is a little Now alarming. is the time to fight against this Russian tyranny. Hmm. Yeah, UK, the, the Ottomans are your allies, you know? Like, I've made, like, deals with the Ottomans, but we're we not, like... We to bring down the UK. This, this is not a time where we stand oh, the UK is in the, the Oh, the UK is in the chat with... Uh, I'm sorry, they're in a negotiating table with, with the Greeks and the Russians at present. Oh, we should move um, up. Everybody move up. This is a European crisis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Both of us this is, this is a time of European shit. crisis where the Russians have unprovoked invaded the Ottoman people. This is a time where we must stand against them together. Not as Europeans, not as enemies, but as friends. Against this aggressive... This is our response this, this was shut up, quo. Mitch. This breaks the status quo. Hey, Whoa. I'm only as helping, such, we I'm cannot, only helping we cannot the find the Russians to be the protector the of land. Christians in the Ottoman Empire. This role is now up for grabs to any nation who wishes to actually protect its people. In order to... Uh, Quiet. In order to counter this move, the uh, Egyptians would like to extend the Russians' recognition of all Christian peoples within the Egyptian, uh, within the, uh, all the five of them. I can call Jerusalem, man. <laughs> so true. You know, the Saw responds to all this by saying, Cope and Steve, bitch. Ooh, that's a fail RP right wow, there. This is, this we is welcome Russian citizens uh, liberators. That is entirely a fail RP, that's disgusting. That is, like, that is completely <laughs> a fail RP. This is... Oh, I shall move out with the more relevant people of Europe. I currently see 120,000 Britishmen sitting in Tunisia, and I see hundreds of thousands of Frenchmen sitting in their country doing nothing. This is a time where we can stop them. What does the, uh, what does the British Empire intend to do in the region? Um... We had Crimean War them, but what do we stand to gain? To cut down on this imperialism that russia he's breaking the status quo like i offer britain to... cairo as war goals itself in addition to the suez canal what i heard no such thing why well, offer you now 
Think about this. You're not only cutting Russian allies, you're getting yourself vital uh, waterways and territory. Well, who's to say that the uh, ownership of Cairo and the rest of Egypt would not be contested by the Ottoman Empire in the future? Me? Sir, this is a sacred oath of a lie I shall give you. Do you think you're, I have the time to fight the British Empire when the Russians you're are- You're promising me hurting? that if if we Crimean War this, you will ensure my ownership of all land past the Suez? Yes. Although I suppose which direction might be important. <laughs> <laughs> towards towards uh, Istanbul, obviously. Yes. It is imperative that we start sending units more and more. Alright. Um, oh. You can start sending Olympian, I'm also going to start sending. Mark Smith, uh, Lord Melbourne, at what time will there be British units inside of the Ottoman uh, Balkans? Uh, our nearest convenience. And by that I mean... Because they're currently sitting in Tunis, not on the transports. Because look, look at it this way, they're currently very much spread out in an out-of-character term, I'll say this. Because if I have artillery here, I'm pretty sure I could beat the Russians. I think you can go out of term, out of fuck. Yeah. Uh, I'm moving my Indian <laughs> army at the moment. Out of character for that purpose. Because I, I have a lot more combat with here in the Balkans, but I don't want to attack them right now because I just don't have the... um. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I have four armies that are going to come from Tunisia oh. and the British homeland. And I also have three armies coming from India. Uh, those are going to be landing in Iraq. So if you could make sure that they don't take that, that would be very good. They're definitely not aiming for Iraq, but like they're aiming for like Trabazon area. I'm also doing a little bit of deception by, with that LARP message because I'm not actually going to invade Egypt right now. Yeah, I can see. Do you want to attack the uh, the Greeks when you land? That might be the best course of action. Do you want to? They have. I know they have another three Russian stacks in Greece though. Do they? Yes. Oh, so we should attack uh, the Danube troops then, in Bulgaria. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna land there and defeat it. Get up to the front, guys. I'm gonna get ready to start an attack. I'm gonna call you a marksman. I've got a 3 3. I've got a 3 3. LARP to join, LARP to join, LARP to join, LARP to join. You have to LARP. Oh, it's over for the. Oh, yeah, that's it. Well, they're Not getting even... a good roll. But oh, they're, they're running away. Fully, okay, fully. yeah, they're running away. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm gonna, gonna try to catch them on the flank. Yeah, same. If you can get into Solistria, they're fully encircled. I mean, that's the goal. The Moldavians are just doing nothing in this war. <laughs> oh, they got out. They got out. Keep going, we keep, going keep going, keep going. Move up, move up, move up. Let's do it, let's go. Oh, and I've got an idea. I've got an idea. What's your idea? You guys aren't ready for this. We can move through Moldavia, right? Yeah, yeah do that. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to move Moldavia down. Moldavia, if you want your independence and to be recognized as king as Romania, you might want to prove it here instead of being traitors. Sorry, but I waited too long. Then no independence for you. Oh my god, dude, look at how many Russian troops are in Greece! Yeah, they sent too much there.
Oh fuck, dude, those brigades in the Balkans <laughs> in fucking Greece look scary. I'm gonna intercept them in the hills of Thrace. Uh, I hate this environment where people fucking moan and whine over getting betrayed. It's, it's every time. Is Timmy in the lobby? If he is, I'm actually gonna commit a crime. Okay, against Russians, right? Oh my god! <laughs> uh oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh my I, god. I, I thought this was gonna be an oh oh moment. <laughs> oh, we're getting good casualties. The Russians, the Russians are all walking up through Greece, by the way. Yeah. Hey, why are we not going around? I'm going around. Oh, okay. Although it takes me a long time, so we are destroying the Russian. It'll probably army take here. another battle. Hey, my troops will be able to intercept the Russians, I believe. Okay, they retreated Constanta. I'm landing in Tulsia, follow up to Constanta. Oh, oh, we got it. We got the encirclement. Stay, 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 stay. Attack Viden. I've got a Doni. I've got a Doni. France, attack. Vidin, Vidin, Vidin. What? Yeah. What? Where? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Oh. I'm gonna catch them. I'm gonna catch them in Vidin. Yeah, but oh, they're yes. also going from enemy to neutral. Isn't that? I'm pretty sure no. enemy. They're going no. from my land. Oh, I didn't realize Wallachia was in the way. Yeah. Oh, those casualties, holy shit. Should be like five days until we stack weapon Santa. Unless they surrender, right. he has to delete, right?
Zarcha disconnected. <laughs> He's never living oh this Oh my down. god, why is he such a bitch? Connor disconnected. Oh, well, that's not a big deal.